One myth that comes up fairly often is that the Earth is only a few thousand years old. Now, anyone with almost any kind of background in science knows this is patently wrong. But knowing it's wrong and proving it's wrong are two totally different things. So what are some of the obvious proofs that the Earth is millions or even billions of years old? Well, one of the most obvious is something called plate tectonics. Now, whilst this happens all around the world, there is a particular area where it seems more obvious than some of the others. Looking at the atlas of the world, there's an obvious similarity between the coastline of South America and that of Africa. However, it goes a bit further than just the two coastlines being a close match for each other. When you look at the rock strata beneath the ground on the two coastlines, these match up perfectly with each other. So the plate that South America sits on was once right next to the African plate. And over a period of time, these two plates drifted apart. But can we have any idea how long ago it was since those two plates were actually joined together? Well, here, the key fact is something called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. It runs from Iceland all the way to the base of the South Atlantic. It's basically a crack in the skin of the Earth. The two plates move apart, magna from underneath the ocean, and can force its way up to the surface through the weak spot in the Earth's crust. As the plates move apart, as happens at most of the boundary plate edges all around the world, there are earthquakes and lava flows. The only difference here is that they're actually happening mostly underwater. So the lava cools and sets on either side of the gap and creates the ridge, it's like a line of submerged volcanoes running north to south for about 10,000 miles. So as these two continents drift apart, the area covered by the seafloor in between spreads out. The plate moves because of the heat convection in the mantle underneath the Earth, but additional forces relating to gravity and the rotation of the Earth also are factors. The greater these forces are, the more the Earth crust moves. Now currently, the gap between Africa and South America it's growing about an inch or about two and a half centimetres per year. Now, if you multiply that out by about 2,000 miles, you get a time of around about 125 million years, which is close to the estimate 140 million years that experts think the two continents were last joined together. The Earth, of course, has existed long before the continents separated. It does give us a good starting minimum for the age of the Earth. Now there are people who support the idea that the Earth is only 6,000 years old who say that continental drift has now slowed down. And long ago, the continents were moving much faster than they are now. But for a gap of 2,000 miles to appear in 6,000 years, this would mean the continents would have to have averaged moving one mile every three years. However, for this to be the case, resultant volcanic and earthquake activity all around the world would have rendered life impossible for any kind of life on Earth, not just human, but any kind. And just whilst there have been large earthquakes and volcanoes recorded throughout human history, the number and size of these events recorded over the last few thousand years seem actually very similar to those we've recorded in modern times. So plate tectonics, continental drift, seafloor spreading are one way we can disprove a young earth theory, but there are more.